Hello there guys, Coast Shell here, Dogs to Born Bob built for theme parks and welcome to a big theme park news update that broke just a couple of hours ago. Uh, now I'm not going to lie to you guys, I have been shattered today, absolutely shattered and you know I was like I really don't want to record anything new today just because I'm so drained of energy. I uh, had a few hours kip, I'm pumped, ready to go just in case and then something did come out. Uh, in the last couple of hours, and it was the closure and the retirement of the wild, of the sorry, the, not the wildcat. What am I thinking? No, it's a different kind of beast altogether. It's the cheetah roller coaster at Wild Adventures. Now, this is a park uh, owned by Hersham Family Entertainment that own Silver Dollar City and Dollywood. And um, basically, the cheetah roller coaster has been retired. And this is for new exciting projects. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the history and stats of the cheetah. And we're also going to look at the site via Google Maps to sort of have a look at future possibilities and start discussing future predictions for the replacement of the cheetah roller coaster. So before we get started guys with all of that, make sure you like the video, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Also guys, check the description down below where not only can you find uh, links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram and Snapchat and the Discord server where you, yes you the Coast Shell fan base, can be a part of the Channel Nation and interact with other Coast Shell fans. Also, there's a link uh, to the Google Forms where you can submit your video ideas. So if you've got an idea for an X5 year video, a review, a fact file, any kind of video, a closed but not forgotten video, any ideas you have, send it in the Google Forms link with your shout out, social media names, or any names you want to shout out with the idea, and we'll do that. And we'll give you the shout out on the day of the upload with the video content idea on it. Uh, we still have some great ideas coming your way, guys, so stay tuned. And of course, all the ones that have been sent in already, your ideas are being pre recorded over the summer months. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the stats and history of the Cheetah Wooden Roller Coaster at Wild Adventures as we speculate on future replacements. So, Cheetah is a Custom Coasters International Wooden Roller Coaster. Now, this first opened way back on the 16th of June 2001 and last operated in the 2020 season, or around the 2020 season. It's an out and back design with a figure eight finale with a length of 2,680 feet and a height of 92 feet, a speed of 52 miles per hour with a 90 foot drop a chain lift till and it was actually built by Gaslora. It was made by Custom Coast International but it was actually built by Gaslora, which is a very interesting fact. It is known on a roller coaster database as a hybrid already and uh, if you want to know exactly what's going on with this, basically the coaster has been retired. It was closed all the 2020 season so it last operated before the start of the 2020 season um, so it last operated technically in 2019, uh, but it was still it was still known to be a 2020 ride, even though it wasn't operating during that season. So technically, it's still 2020 closure, but or last operated, but technically it was 2019 when it actually operated to the public uh, last. The coaster was closed all the 2020 season and has been removed from the park's website rides page, but still on the park map. There's nothing official out there by the park to confirm this news. However, every time that the park have been messaged about the future of the Cheetah, they've responded to inquiries with this potential statement. Unfortunately, the Cheetah roller coaster has been retired to make room for new and exciting changes in the coming years. So a very, very wild statement there from the park to confirm the history, uh, the future of the Cheetah roller coaster. And obviously, you know, the stats are very cool for this classic CCI Woody. And uh, now let's have a look at the site and try and pick out some future potential replacement opportunities for the Cheetah roller coaster. So on your screen now, fan dabby dozy, is the Google Maps look at the Cheetah roller coaster site. Now you can see it's on a very outstretched plot of land and you can see some potential room for development either side now obviously you know this is a quite an outstretched roller coaster this is quite an outstretched uh, development now obviously one of the main things that people are going to start jumping to is the rmc uh, hype train and that is of course to bring in either top of track on the cci uh, supports or Bringing in a full iBox steel track to completely refurbish this ride and keep the hybrid experience. 
Uh, now, obviously, RMC would be one of the big talking points. However, if you actually demolish the coaster, you've got room here for exciting development. I mean, like I said, look at the site around it. I mean, it's literally prime expansion land. Now, obviously, you know, where the figure of eight is, we're talking maybe a flat rides package and a family thrill coaster uh, where the uh, the helix is right at the end of the site. Uh, I could maybe see them using this plot of land and the sort of nearby plot of land as a potential site for coaster development there. Um, so there's multiple different things that they could do. Um, obviously we don't think it's going to be a water park development because obviously the water park is right opposite where the cheetah site is so we're not expecting a water park development so for thrill seekers thank god for water park fans you'll have to wait a little bit more but um the cheetah site in my opinion is definitely prime coaster land whether that's an rmc whether that's something different who, who, who knows who knows I think if you want to use the full site as a roller coaster development, I could see maybe something like an SNS multi looper coaster, something like Steel Curtain at Kennywood, uh, would be a wonderful coaster. Look at Kennywood; they're a, a, a vintage, modern, classic sort of collage amusement park theme park, and you know they're not the biggest theme park in the United States, but what they've done. Is they've approached SNS, got a nine inversion roller coaster, a multi looper called Steel Curtain themed to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and given the, the locals that sense of homegrown coaster theming. So maybe something close to Wild Adventures, maybe a Georgia uh, theme, or the story is native to the Georgia state, uh, and bring in the Steel Curtain type coaster, not a clone, but a different layer. I don't think it'll be as many inversions as Steel Curtain if they went for this. Maybe something like a 7 inversion coaster or an 8 inversion coaster. If they decide to go with a 10 looper and break the USA inversion record, then that would be brilliant. Obviously, I've said one other route, which is the RMC. Another route that could go down is another RMC route, and I could maybe see them um, keeping the support, but maybe attaching some single rail track onto it. So it would be the world's first single rail track conversion um, of a wooden roller coaster by RMC. It would be the first of its kind because obviously with the single rails, we've only seen them sold separately. We haven't seen them being converted. We haven't seen wooden coasters converted to have single rail track on them. So maybe you could put single rail track on the CCI supports and have a single rail hybrid conversion. Very, very broad idea, I know, but it's not completely out of the question. So, um, if not, then I'd see the whole coaster getting demolished and I'd like to see something like Jersey Devil Coaster or the new one coming to Six Five Magic Mountain next year for 2022. Something like an RMC Raptor, an outstretched RMC Raptor, a custom layout that's good for the park, no prototype, uh, obviously they don't have to use the whole site, so I think maybe just the station area, the brake run, the figure of eight, and where and sort of where the lift still is. They might decide to put one of the prototype raptors just in that site and then keep the rest of that site uh, open for open air development, maybe. Um, so I think a raptor co coaster is an option. The SNS multi looper is an option. Maybe they go, maybe they go big. You know, we've seen Dollywood maybe go in the future for a Mac Extreme spinning coaster. That was one of the three coasters listed for future developments. S uh, Silver Dollar City is obviously open time travel, which is the Mac Extreme spinning coaster. Wild Adventures, don't forget, is owned by Hershey Family Entertainment. Maybe. Wild Adventures will be first in line after Silver Dollar City and before Dollywood to get the Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster because you have to think Hershey Family Entertainment will start to invest in Wild Adventures in my opinion. I think this is the start of the next few years of investments into Wild Adventures and I think that Hershey are really going to try and uh, invest in this part now. And I think maybe a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster, I think looking at the site it is prime land for an Extreme Spinning Coaster. Um, you know, and obviously you've got to look at the park's current coaster lineup to give you ideas as to what they could do. Um, they've got Boomerang, which is obviously a classic for Coma Boomerang. Uh, they've got Go Bananas, which is your Maurer son, uh, Wild Mouse. 
the Outpost Express, which is a Vekoma Junior Coaster. They got Swamp Thing, uh, which is a Vekoma Suspended Family Coaster, so the inverted option is completely out of the question. Uh, Swamp Water Snake, which is their 2019 Zamperla Mini Mouse Kids Coaster. And Twisted Typhoon, their Vekoma SLC, so they got two inverted coasters already. Inverted's out of the question. They haven't got a spinning coaster, so again, the extreme spinner comes into play. They haven't got an RMC or some kind of uh, hybrid coaster now that Cheetah is SBNO or scheduled to be retired. Um, so again, RMC would fill the hybrid void left by Cheetah on that current site. Raptor, again, there's no single rail coaster, there's no uh, thrill coaster with single rail track or uh, a low capacity thrill coaster, which is perfect for wild adventures. Um, if they increase the capacity is it, more than what the prototype is as well, that's even better. And uh, obviously, uh, they haven't got um, a multi-looper coaster. They've only got like the boomerang and the twisted typhoon that really goes upside down. So um, you're looking at that as a potential possibility, and you're thinking, well, I think if they've got the boomerang and twisted typhoon, they need a third coaster that goes upside down. So that would play into the RMC, that would play into the multi-looper, that would play into the Raptor and the extra spinning coaster. So if I was to pick a fifth option, and this is probably the most vague and probably won't happen option because I think that this coaster is more likely to go to Dollywood in the next few years and that's the B&M hyper coaster they haven't got an airtime filled roller coaster and again when you look at that site and the surrounding area and you can look on Google Maps for yourselves to see how big the site really is um, you look at the site and you think well there's loads of site in and around the cheetah coaster land and you could really play on the layout of this and really have it go right up near the road and you sort of I mean looking at where Cheetah is you've got the helix right next to uh, a road so you could drive past maybe maybe the lift hill starts where the station is for Cheetah and you sort of get that twisting drop like you got on Condar that's opening a Walby Belgium this year so something like a twisting drop right next to the road so whether it is the B&M version or whether they go risky and go for the inter well not even risky it's not even a risk it's not a gamble you know it's a, it's a paid off um, move by parks you could go down the Intamin route something like Hyperion or they go with a mega coaster from Intamin something like Condor at Wolbe Belgium so I think the mega slash hyper option isn't completely out of the question if you go with Intamin or B&M the reason why I say Intamin more than B&M is because Dollywood, in my opinion, will get the B&M Hyper in the next 5 to 10, 5, maybe even 15 years. Um, and, you know, the, park, the parks from Hurston Family Entertainment haven't invested in an Intamin Mega Coaster or an Intamin Hyper Coaster, something like Condor or Hyperion. And it would be a bit of a risk, obviously, but I think it's a risk worth taking. So... Um, I think that there's real potential here for options. I think there's a real collage and a real portfolio of um, potential coasters they could go for, uh, ranging from Raptors to Multi Loopers to Extreme Spinners to Hypers and Megas. Um, you know, there's a real potential opportunity here and hybrid conversions as well. Uh, obviously, there's other types that you could go for. You could go for um, maybe an SNS. Uh, coaster like an air, compressed air launch. Um, obviously, you don't have to take over the whole site, but you could go with something like Max Force at Six Flags Great America. That'd be a good. Because uh, they haven't got a launch coaster, like I said earlier, so uh, maybe something like Max Force wouldn't be a bad option. Uh, they could go with the Intamin Hot Racers, like a launched single rail coaster. Again, launched. They haven't got a Raptor either, so uh, it would fill a void quite well. So there's really good creative pot potential abilities. Um, I think in terms of opening this ride, I'm not expecting 2022. I don't think we're expecting that. I think we're looking here at maybe between 2023 and 2025. Uh, that is probably the realistic timeline of what we're expecting to see in terms of the opening uh, year of this roller coaster. I think that's what we're looking at here. So um, fingers crossed we do get that 2023 to 2025 opening for the ride and uh, fingers crossed we do get to see uh, the best of the best with the replacement of the Cheetah at Wild Adventures. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of All Ages, that is looking at potential replacements for the Cheetah at Wild Adventures. Now it's been confirmed to be retired, not officially, but the park have replied to people saying it will be retired, so we can pretty much confirm that it has been retired. Um, obviously didn't open all throughout 2020, technically last operated in 2019, 
but was still standing there, not operating in 2020. It's been SBO now since 2020. And um, obviously now we've got the news that the ride will be retired. And, um, you know, I've never got to experience this coaster, which is a shame, but... Um, you know, it's a classic wooden coaster, mixed reviews from what I've seen online. And I think the only hope with this replacement is it kicks on the major investments in the park over the next few years. Like I said, I think 2023 to 2025 will be the opening year for the coaster. So I think over the rest of this season and 2022 is all about demolishing the cheetah, preparing the site, ready for development. And, um, you know, they said they're preparing it for more exciting things. So uh, I think it's going to be more than just the coaster. I think maybe if you are going to see a brand new coaster replace this coaster, maybe a new plaza area to go with it, uh, or some kind of new mini plaza area with some uh, nice adventure theming. I think mean, in terms of themes, maybe something a bit local. So again, looking with the multi-looper uh, steel curtain type ride experience. Again, you could look at maybe... Um, a wild animal uh, story with the Georgia um, sort of history, the, the history of the state of Georgia uh, with animals and sort of any mystical animals they could involve. So uh, there's a real potential here with storytelling and theming and creative potential. Uh, some great companies to work out there with, the with theming. Uh, some good European ones, obviously Universal Rocks uh, does some great theming for the likes of Wicker Man, Taron, Phoenix at Toverland. A wonderful company to do some theming. Obviously, soundtrack, that's completely up to them if, if they want to put a soundtrack to the coaster. There's loads of people out there. Hans Zimmer, I'm a score. You know, brilliant people to work with everyone around the world. So, uh, fingers crossed they do make the right decision. And, um, it, it, and I know you guys are probably sitting there thinking, well, you've named Extreme Spinner, uh, Raptor, Hybrid, SNS Multi Looper, and a BM Hyper or Intamin Hyper slash Mega. Uh, you know, what option would you like to see? What option is more realistic to happen? Um, I think the most realistic to happen is either an RMC Cheetah or I'd like to see the SNS Multi Looper uh, as well. And the Raptor could potentially be a bonus option. I think the Extreme Spinner will go to Dollywood. I think the Hyper could go to Dollywood in the future as well. Um, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be uh, against an Intamin Mega or Intamin Hyper. Maybe they go down the Vacoma Hyper route. That could be a possibility. I mean, we saw uh, what Hyperion was going to be if they went down the Vacoma route to Energylandia in Poland. And it was still a great looking ride experience. So maybe they go down the Vacoma Hyper route and maybe bring the Vacomas, the new gen Vacomas, into the USA and start building up the trend of investing in new generation Vacoma coasters in the US. So it would be very exciting if they did go down the Vacoma Hyper route. I'd be very excited for Vacoma as well as Wild Adventures because this could be an exciting future if they went with the Vacoma Hyper. Um, so very exciting stuff that guys will keep you posted on potential developments at Wild Adventures as we get it. Uh, but for now guys, the Cheetah is being retired and there's loads of potential as to uh, what could be replacing it. And as we say in the enthusiast community, let the speculation begin. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Very talkative video today. Um, and I, I, I'm surprised I got through it because I'm shattered. Uh, but thank you very much guys for watching this video. Stay tuned because we've got plenty more news updates coming your way in the next few days. Uh, from Legacy Entertainment with the End Light Movie World project in China. A Hello Kitty theme park being planned in China uh, for 2024. And also... Uh, the e trenlin experience at Europa Park. I've got all the details around that experience and my thoughts to share with you on that in that video. So stay tuned for that. Go and check out the videos we've uploaded over the last few days from the likes of Tivoli Gardens and other theme parks. So stay, go and watch those videos as well. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kill on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a wild, fantastic day. Get it? Wild, wild adventures. Uh, if you don't get it, just forget it.